This is the key to written homework two. It says, find the account balance to the nearest cent at seven years for an account with initial deposit 1500, annual interest rate 5.3%, compounded quarterly. Okay, so this is a compound interest problem. And we know in particular that it's discrete because it says compounded quarterly. So it's discrete. Which means that the model is A is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus R over N to NT. Which is the discrete compound interest formula. There are one, two, three, four, five different symbols in the model. Uh, on exercises such as this, you're always given all but one. So we probably have four of them. So A, it says find the account balance. So this is what we're supposed to find. P is the next uh, value in the sim uh, in the relationship. So 1500 is the initial deposit. Uh, R. The interest rate is 5.3 percent, written as a decimal. That's 0 0.053. N is the number of compoundings per period. So it says compounded quarterly. So that means that the compounding, that, that n is 4, the number of compoundings per period. And t, the number of periods, is 7, 7 years. So taking all of these together, what we have to compute is 1,500 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.053 over 4 with exponent 4 times 7. And in your calculator, calculator speak, this would be 1500 and then times 1 plus 0 0.053 slash 4, and then caret 4 times 7. Okay, so just typing this into the machine now. 1500 times 1 plus 0 0.053 over 4. Carrot four times seven. <clears throat> okay, so then the account balance at the end of the interval is twenty one sixty eight point forty eight rounded to the nearest cent. Just as a sanity check to make sure everything is alright. I'll observe that 2000 is more than 1500. So that number seems to make sense. If this number was less than 1500 or much 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 more than 1500 then I would be suspicious of the number. Okay so the next one the account balance at five years is 2600 for an account with annual interest rate 3.8% compounded monthly. Find the initial deposit. So again, this is the discrete uh, compound interest formula, except now instead of finding A in, in, in part B, instead of finding capital A, uh, we're going to find P. <coughs> so again, 
A is P 1 plus R over N to NT. So the account balance at five years. So <clears throat> A is known to be 2600. P, find the initial deposit. This is what we're supposed to find. R is 0 0.038. In is 12 because it says compounded monthly. And T is 5 because it says 5 years. Then we can uh, take this equation and we can solve for P and obtain that P is A multiplied by 1 plus R over N to negative NT. And now all we must do is plug in. So P is 2600 1 plus 0 0.038 over 12 raised to negative 12 times 5. I'm typing this into the machine. Oops. Typing that in the machine, 2150.74. Okay, the last one, <clears throat> uh, again, as a sanity check, uh, this number is less than this number because what the exercise is saying, it's saying that if you put this much money in an account at 3.8% interest compounded monthly, and you don't touch it for five years, then at the end of that time, holding this money in the account, it will be $2,600. So it makes sense for the principal deposit to be less than the account balance after five years. Okay, so the account balance after 10 years is 7,500 with an unknown annual interest rate, which is compounded continuously. Okay, so this one is different. So this is compound interest. And in this case, it's continuous. That means that the model is A is P exponential RT. So with an unknown annual interest rate, find the annual interest rate to four significant figures. OK, well, so now we're going to know A and P and T, but not R. <coughs> So A is 7,500, P is 1,000, R, this is what we are to find, and T, 10 years. Okay. I'll take uh, I'll take this relationship and solve for R. So first, dividing both sides by P, this would be A over P 
is exponential RT. And this is an exponential equation. <coughs> so I'll write the corresponding logarithmic equation. So log of A over P is RT. And then dividing both sides by T, log of A over P over T is R. And then plugging this in, plugging in all the values that we know, this is log of 7500 divided by 1000, and then this divided by 10 is R. And now plugging this into the machine, to four significant figures, 0 0.2015 is R. And so the annual interest rate is 20.15%. And that's the solution to the exercise.